Ja. I got a wusa. I got a wusa. still mad about what the just happened so I'm in Target's parking lot so I come over here to park on the side of Target this car is backing out I peeped them from when I first turned into the side parking lot so they're coming out at um, the way that they're turning out is like towards me if that makes any sense so um basically if anybody wanted to try to be slick and get the the parking spot from behind they would be the first ones to get it because of the way because of the direction that the car was backing out so i'm sitting there with my blinker on The car backs out. This other car swings into the parking spot. <sighs> Y'all. I've never had someone do that to me. I've never in my life had somebody do that to me before the amount of anger that went through my body just now unmatched unmatched now i know some of y'all watching this may be like really the amount of anger like it's not even as serious as a parking spot go get another one no because if you know, you know, this Target, the mall, is hard to find parking spots. Like, legit. It is hard. I just said I was sitting there with my blinker on. And when you got to do that, you know what type of parking lot it is, okay? I said, no. No, this person didn't just do that. So I sat there waiting for her to get out the car. You know, any normal person, you get in a parking lot, you get right out the car. She was scared. She was scared as shit. She took like two minutes to get out of her car. And I saw her moving, so she was probably trying to figure out like... And for a minute, she was taking so long for a minute. I'm like, did she hop over her passenger seat and get out that side? So I'm sitting there. So she gets out her car. I said, ma'am, ma'am. She didn't turn around because she already knew she was wrong. She knew she was She knew she saw me sitting there. She knew she saw me sitting there. That's why she did not turn around. If she honestly did not see me, if she honestly did not know that she did anything wrong, if I said, "Ma'am," she would have turned around with no problem. So I said, "Okay, this is the game that we going to play. She's going to ignore me." Okay. So I put my car in park. I go to the end of the little thingy right here and thank God like the traffic wasn't backed up because usually it is. Um, but God let me do what I had to do, even though it wasn't much. But I uh, turned this corner right here and I was going to try to block her in, but I know it was going to be kind of hard for me to do because she's on foot and she can go whichever direction. So I said, what did I say? Um... I don't know. I think I said, so that's how we doing it or that's how we doing things or that's what you're going to do. And then here she goes. I'm sorry, what? A older white lady. She was probably about in her 50s. An older white lady. Um, I'm sorry, what? 
and I said I'm sorry is that why you got out that side of your car because when she got out any normal person again when you get out your car you're gonna walk to the back of your car walk behind your car and go that way okay she walked out her car and walked in the front of her car she walked a long way because she was trying to avoid me girl you knew everything in your body that you you knew what you did and um I said, you knew you saw me sitting there and you took whatever, whatever I said. And then she started walking off. <sighs> and I couldn't let her walk off without me saying, my mom came out of me. And I said, you white cracker ass bitch. Yes, I did. Unapologetically too, because for that. Like, you was dead wrong for that. You was dead wrong for that. And honestly, y'all, if I wasn't a work in progress, if I wasn't trying to change my ways, if I wasn't trying to get closer to God, and if I did not believe in karma, I would have keyed the shit out of her car. And I put that on everything I love. I would have keyed the shit out of her car. She would have had a nice surprise when she came out of Target. I hope it was worth it, bitch. Oh, that made me so hot. Like, why would you do that? So because I'm leaving it alone and I'm leaving it in God's hand because karma is real. And, 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 and even though, even though that situation was so small, bitch, you're going to get your karma because you know what you did. That was not necessary. Like, you, you literally could have found another parking spot you know what you did so yes starting the vlog off very very hectic and crazy but i had to tell y'all that like oh my god i can't believe she did that god like oh my god i mm, it's over it's over it's done with it's done ebony it's done it's done it's done you handled it the best way that you could have. I'm not gonna get my revenge. I'm gonna let God do what he do. I'm gonna let God do what he do. Even if that's that lady on her way home and she catch a flick, that's that karma for that ass, okay? Period. Anyway, I'm at Target. I need to pick up literally a few things i think i wrote it down um i need to get ilani some more juice um i want to see if they have this certain drink that i drink in the morning excuse me um i think that's it i don't think i need to get anything else um but the real reason I had came out, so tomorrow is Rock's mom's birthday and um, I just want to make her feel special tomorrow. Um, she does a lot for the kids, you know, she, she helps me out tremendously. She's just a helping type of person, like legit, like God, she just... Oh, I could just, I could, I can name so many things. She's just one of those people that just gives and just helps others. You know what I mean? And I don't want to necessarily say she puts herself last because I, 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 I don't know all of that to be true, but she definitely helps people you know what I mean um yeah so and everyone I mean outside of her everyone should be able to feel special on their birthday you know that time only comes around once a year and yeah everyone should feel special on their birthday everyone should be pampered on their birthday and it should only be about that specific person on their birthday so like i said um you know i i appreciate her if you're watching this because you know I, I know she does watch my videos i don't know if she watches every single one but if you are watching this um i personally just want to say thank you to you um 
again because you just do so much for the kids and i truly 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 from the bottom of my heart appreciate it um you know a lot of people says a lot of people say that it takes a village to raise a child or children and it honestly truly does it it takes a village and um you know just i don't know just thank you for everything um if you know you know um I was able to, you know, keep my oldest out of school for as long as I could because you were there to watch her. And, you know, there's so many people that have to put their kids, like their babies in daycare at the age of two months, at the age of three months, you know, at the age of four months. And I couldn't even fathom putting my babies in preschool or preschool daycare at that young of an age god like me and rock was just talking about this the other day anxiety talk about anxiety like that is anxiety all day while they're there all day because you want to know how your baby is doing you know you don't want nobody to hurt your baby you don't want nobody to touch them in a wrong way or talk to them any type of way or just treat them unfairly like it's gonna happen because we're living this thing called life but just the thought of them being in daycare at that young of an age will kill me will kill me and i didn't have to do it because of you you know, and you took on that responsibility and I appreciate you. I really, 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 I really do. It saved us tons of money, tons of money, and you didn't have to do it, but you did, you know? And, um, so thank you. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's our birthday. So I want to run out to, after this, I'm going to go to the dollar store. Um, I'm going to get a bunch of balloons. Hopefully they got, God, that dollar store get on my nerves. Hopefully they got balloons. Um, got to remember to get a card. Earlier today, I ordered some um, edible arrangements and I put a nice little note in there. Um, I had the note as if it came from the girl. So basically it said, I wonder if... Cause I know they sent me an email. I wonder if the note is gonna be. The note says they call her Mimi. So it says to Mimi, you always go above and beyond. And for that, we're forever grateful. We love you to the moon and back. And we couldn't ask for a better Mimi. You're the best. Today is your day and we hope that you enjoy it. Happy birthday. Love always, Ilani and Aaron. So I was debating whether I should pick it up or whether I should get it delivered um and oh my god y'all keep y'all fingers crossed for me too i know y'all gonna end up seeing this after her birthday but i'm like please just let her be home when this person delivers it because like i said i could easily just go pick it up and you know have it at the house but you know if you get edible arrangements sent to you when it's delivered it, it just hit different you know what i'm saying it, 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 just, it just hit different <laughs> so i'm like please let her be boy you ain't gotta put your mirror in ain't nobody about to bump your mirror boy Is me being nosy? Is that his girl? <laughs> what is wrong with me? I need help. Um, I lost my train. Oh yeah, it just hit different when it's delivered. So I don't think that she has anything planned. I think for the most part, she may just want to maybe relax or see what's in store for her. I don't know. But hopefully she's at her house. So I chose the option to get it delivered to the house. Um... And then in the delivery instructions, I said, ask for this person and hand it to her personally because it's her birthday. So, you know, they're, when they give it to her, she's going to be like, oh my God, like she, she'll be surprised by that. So that's going to be the first little gift. And then um, uh, Rock and I, we booked her a massage. You know, I think a massage is just always 
Is that the lady? Oh, I think the massage is just always the perfect type of gift to give to somebody, whether it's just random, you know. You, I, I, I don't know. I just feel like you can never go wrong with a massage. Um, I got a Swedish because some people, they don't like deep tissues. I was going to go ahead and do the hot stone. But if I can remember correctly, because I did work in a couple spas, I think a hot stone is a combination between a Swedish and deep tissue. And then it has hot stones. So like I said, everybody doesn't like that deep tissue because they they get in there and get them knots um some people just want to relax you know so that type of massage is called a swedish so i just went ahead and booked her that so my plan is for tomorrow while she's in the massage i'm actually go to the um spa and um I'm going to leave a thing of, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find roses or just flowers, but I'm going to leave a thing of something, some type of flowers, and um, with a bunch of balloons. So when she comes out, that will be sitting there for her as well, and that will be another, you know, little um, surprise. So I just wanted to make her feel special because she truly deserves it, and she does a lot for people, like I said, and um, yeah, so she deserves that. Um... All right, well, I guess I'm gonna go into Target now. I'm not gonna take y'all with me because, um, I don't know, I feel like y'all are always in Target with me. Um, I may pick y'all up, I'm not sure, but I don't know, I don't really have nothing to get out of here. All right, I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I'm in Target. This is the primer that I was telling y'all about. Hold on. <laughs> All right, this is the primer that I was telling y'all about that I really, really liked. The Elf Hydrate and Face Primer. It is so hydrating. So this is the one that I just got, okay? This is the Power Grip Primer. So this is good too, but I don't know. I think it feels like a little sticky. So this one is good. Hey, you guys. All right, so today is the next day and I just left the house. I'm about to go pick up some flowers. I didn't want to get them yesterday because one, I didn't have anything to put them in. I didn't, basically, I just wanted them to be nice and fresh for today. Um, hopefully, his mom has a base so she can put the flowers in it. Roll this window up. Um, yeah. So I'm about to go pick up the flowers here. And I was just at the dollar store yesterday and forgot to pick up like a little bag because I have this card here. And then I had got her some Swedish fish because I know she enjoys them. I was looking for um, Reese's, but they only had the Reese's pieces like the little the circle the ball one, the ones that look like m &Ms. they only had those and i want the real thing i want the reese's cup but they ain't have it so i got swedish fish um maybe i'll pick up another box two is always better than one you know so i'm gonna shoot in here i'm gonna run in here real quick back in the dollar store i'm gonna get another box of reese's maybe i'll be cute and get a pepsi <laughs> it's the little things that count y'all it's literally the little things that count it's 308 right now so i'm making pretty good um i'm making pretty good time and her massage doesn't start until 3 30 of course there's no parking spaces Damn. This is a tight space. Her massage doesn't start until 3.30 and it's 3.09, so she's not even back there yet. Um, but yeah, she was really surprised. So the edible arrangements came. She had saw, I don't know what type of car or like van that it was in, but she knew it was some type of like food or something. So she was just staring out the window for the longest. And then I was like, what are you staring at? And Rock was like, what is it? what is it i'm like all right like if you ask what is it one more time because now you're making it obvious <laughs> and then her other son was standing at the door like what is it i'm like y'all i wanted to be like move and let your mom open it 
but the delivery person like if you have delivery instructions on the website please freaking read them like i said ask for this person and hand it to her personally and they didn't so she just said i have a delivery for her, and then just handed it to him but she was still surprised and she enjoyed her edible arrangements and then um i had told her that she has a massage booked or whatever so she was surprised for that so i already told y'all all this yesterday but i got the balloons right here so i'm gonna go to the massage place and i'm gonna leave these balloons up front i'm gonna get some flowers and then um leave this up front just tell them that it's for her so when she comes out she's gonna be surprised again so let me run in here real quick get the little bag and then um i gotta run in that store and get some flowers and i'll be on my way all right y'all their flowers like most of the, all their flowers well most of the flowers look dead it was red pretty roses in there they look dead already it was pretty white ones so I got this, they're pink. They look more so kind of like a purplish in a store, but these look the most alive. So they didn't have very many cute bags at the dollar store. So I just got this bag right here. I'm going to I got one of the big Pepsis. I'm gonna put the Pepsi in a bag. <laughs> she gonna laugh at me for this. Um, I'm gonna show y'all. I got two things of Swedish fish. She gonna laugh at me for this. She liked this nasty double mint gum. Yuck. And every time she had it, she'd be like, you want a piece? I'd be like, get that nasty stuff away from me. So I got it for her. I'm gonna put the card in the bag and I'm gonna put the flowers in the bag as well. So the Pepsi will balance the bag out. So I have it like this. And then all of the balloons. bag together all right so I'm on my way I don't know if I'm gonna take y'all in but see ya thank you could I have um five singles yeah, yeah. just five yes Mm -hmm. Thank you. You have a tip envelope? Yeah, we do. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Who's the massage therapist? So their name is Melody. Melody? M E L O D Y? Yes. Okay. Look at me knowing how to spell. <laughs> this is so nice. Really? Yeah, right? Probably gonna cry when she see it. I bet you. Okay, so 
so when she walks out, she don't have to do nothing at all. Yeah, she's not. Okay. Thank you so much. You have and a great what day. What is your name? Just so I can tell which one. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure she'll know. But Ebony. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
why would you accept that? I don't care if something costs a dollar or two. Just like my iced coffees, like if they don't taste right, like if they're nasty where I just, I'm like, no, I'm not drinking this. I'm taking it back. I don't care. And iced coffees, they're going up too. I remember they used to be $2.89. Iced coffees are, they went up like a whole dollar. Okay? Like, they creeping up there with Starbucks. Okay? But just, just yesterday, I took one of my um, iced coffees back. Brock bought it for me. It was nasty. I didn't want to waste it, so I took it back. I mean, it just only makes sense to me. Anyway, the other day, like the fried chicken, it wasn't fresh. But in my mind, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just take the food back, like the, the vegetables and stuff. I said, I'm going to just take this back the next day. And I don't know why I didn't think to take it back that night. I, well, I honestly didn't feel like it and it was getting late and whatever. But Rock was like, why don't you just take it back tonight? But he has or he has said that after I already like forced myself to eat the chicken. Like the chicken, it wasn't disgusting, but it just you could tell like it wasn't fresh. Like they did it did not just come from out the oil. Like it wasn't fresh. So I ate the chicken. I couldn't take that back. And then once I decided that I was taking the food bag, I was very upset with myself that I ate the chicken because I could have took that back too. <laughs> um, uh, let me make this light. Let me make this light. Oh, oh boy. Um, yeah, so that's that. You know, she didn't give me pro any problems about it. Thank God. Um, she had made it over. And I was saying, like, I don't understand their version of fresh because when she made it it was literally done in five minutes like i stood there and watched them like it was my when i think of fresh like <laughs> food is going like when i think of fresh food is going food is being cooked for the first time like cooked to order that's fresh that's fresh as shit right food's not sitting out but maybe it was sitting out because they have you know prepped they prepped it which makes sense like that saves a whole lot of time anyway they they took the food they put it in a fryer or whatever i don't know what type of you know of course it's like restaurant cooking like stoves and you know like they get busy they they get real hot real fast so maybe that's why i got cooked so fast i don't know all i know is it was done in like five minutes but when i got back home it was much more fresh so there's that um, hold on. Because I'm at Duncan. Um, I want to see what type of... What is this? Come on. A wake-up wrap. No, baby. Hi, can I have a medium decaf uh, caramel iced coffee? Medium iced decaf caramel iced coffee, you want to come in sugar? Uh, three pumps of cream, five pumps of caramel, no sugar. Three pumps of cream, five pumps of caramel? Yes, and no, no sugar. Yeah, no sugar. And okay. I'll take the wake up, uh, wake up wrap. Oh, what kind of wake up wrap? Um, so what comes with this, what comes with this offer here? Cause it's a free wrap with, with the purchase of a medium drink. Oh, any kind of wrap. All right. Um, well, what kinds do you have? Gosh. Oh, we got like sausage, uh, sausage, bacon, turkey sausage, egg and cheese. Um, I'll do, um, I'll do the bacon. Okay. Huh? And, um, can I have a glazed donut, please? Oh, you want glazed donut? Yes. And that'll be it for me. Okay, for Thank you. I got me a Dunkin' Core. Well, actually, Rock got it for me. Well, he didn't get it for me. It was gifted to him. And he gave it to me because... Because you know the vibes. Period. Anyway, guys. Y'all know I take forever to tell a story. I'm getting to it. So, on my way to the Chinese store. Mind you, the Chinese store is like... Kind of like around a corner from the house, you know. I get pulled over. Mm -hmm. I got pulled over. So as I'm coming to this light across the street on the other side, like I'm vertical across the street on the other side, going whatever. I already peeped the cop, but I'm not worrying about nothing because 
you know, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm just not worrying about him. Like, everything's all good. So, I turn a corner and I forget about him that fast. But the whole time that I forgot about him that fast, he probably right behind me or maybe a car behind I don't know anyway wherever his sneaky ass was he was running my tags and um my brakes is working good because I keep jerking my head um so finally when I get to the next light to make a left into the shopping center I'm in this lane he's in the lane right next to me not lined up with me like not window to window he's probably like his front window is probably lined up with my back window right so i'm like this nigga already knew all your i already knew as soon as he i'm like just 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 pull me over like just do it i hate when cops and i was telling this story like months ago i hate when cops drive behind you for like a minute or two and then they wait to put their lights on. Like, if you're gonna pull me, just pull me over. Like, just do it. Like, but like I said, I had forgot about them. It was it was nighttime, so it was mad dark, mind you. I got tint on my window, y'all, and I got five percent. So it gets dark as shit at nighttime. Like sometimes I had to roll down the window to like you know, it gets real dark, right? It gets spooky out here. So, um, um, so the light turns green and I go to, the light turns green and I go to make the left. So when I pull off, I pull off real slow. Cause I'm like, I know he, I know he wants to get behind me. That's exactly what I, I knew it. Like I'm a mind reader. Okay. So I'm, I pull off slow, I'm like driving slow. Didn't wanna drive too slow, but I'm driving slow just to kind of fill him out. And he's driving even more slow cause he's trying to get behind me. So um, right after he gets behind me, he throws his lights on. Like nigga, I already knew what type time he was on. So I turn or whatever and then I go into the actual parking lot and then I pull over. So then he tells me, um, He's like, yeah, um, the reason why I'm pulling you over, your registration is expired. And in my head, I'm like, no, it's not. Because I remember getting a letter in the mail and it reminded me, like, pay your registration on this date. And I'm like, no, it's not. That's the 23rd. The 23rd of freaking October. God. And I was so mad at myself because I'm like, now they're going to charge me a fee for paying it late. So he was totally right about that. I ain't telling him he was right, but he was. Next day, that night I wanted to do it, but um, next morning I paid it online. It was so, oh my God, just like the way things just be slipping my mind. So paid that, got that over with. So then he says, yeah, your registration is expired and um, your tent is a little too dark. That's the reason why you pulled me over. You ain't pulled me over for no expired registration, sir because it's not even that serious like he later said you pulled me over for my tent let's be for real so you know he goes on to say um you mind rolling your back window down sure like you're not about to find that and so then he says you don't have any um weapons or anything on you like that do you do i look like i got fucking weapons on me so then I look at him, like just the look that I gave him, even before I answered, he was like, I don't know, I'm just, I, I just gotta ask, I ask everyone. I'm like, of course not. Like, and then he gonna say, and this car is yours, like it's registered under your, no, I found it on the side of the goddamn road. Like be for real, like the questions that they be asking sometimes is just, wow. So here he go. Where are you coming from? Like, when does it matter? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from home. Where's home? I say the city. Where we're at in the city. Like, nigga, does it make, like, what difference does it make? <clears throat> then he goes, where are you headed to? I'm going to get my food because when they made it, it wasn't fresh. Damn. 
but anyway um i just knew he was gonna give me a ticket and he didn't and i was really surprised good morning how are you i'm good Did that take off the wrap? Oh, 468. Okay. Please. They tried it. So anyway, I say all that to say, he didn't give me a ticket. I thought he would. Thank you. Have a good day. I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, almost left the card. Yeah. Thank you. You too. I gotta try this because. Oh. This is nasty as shit. Excuse me. Yeah. Um. I think I need more um, caramel. Yeah. I asked for like five pumps. It's, it don't taste sweet. Oh, sure. You want me to take the top off? Uh, I'll take it off. It's okay. Yeah, it's just not sweet enough. That's why I asked for extra caramel. Okay, so more caramel? I think that's what it needs. Thank you. I'm gonna try this one too. Sis said, um, Sis said, Happy Halloween. Baby girl. We're in November. I know what she meant though. Her intentions were good. She meant Happy Thanksgiving, but she said Happy Halloween. Anyway, yeah, so the cop, he was a young white boy. Or maybe granted, he could have been a little older, but he just looked young. Camera's about to die. But yeah, so. That was my story about that. He didn't end up giving me a ticket and I was so grateful and I was like, thank you because I thought you were gonna give me a ticket. And he was like, nah, like, don't say nah, cause don't just say it like nah. But he was nice about it, but he was like, yeah, just, you know, um, he like gave me some suggestions about how to like handle the tent or whatever because um it is illegal <laughs> uh to have it this dark but i mean how often like how often are you going to get pulled over for it like i've had my tent for almost two years now on this car and he was the first cop that you know pull me over